Summer Roberts. Yeah, sorry, at you. And um, yeah, it was a really good time. Uh, they're touring to support their new full length called Burn the World. It's a pretty solid record. So check it out. They they shred. So here it is. Here it is. This is an in studio from Media Blitz here on Clash Attitudes. Real punk radio. I'm Morgan, you're listening to Clashed Attitudes, Real Punk Radio, every Sunday from 2 to 4 on Radio K. I'm joined in studio today with Media Blitz from the Orange County in California. You guys want to introduce yourselves quick and take it away? I'm Jason Schwartz, I sing. There's Eddie Orpeza, he plays guitar. Brian Blank plays bass. And Jeff Salisbury plays the drums. We're going to play a few bit of these for you guys. <laughs>
You're listening to Clash Attitudes, Real Punk Radio on Radio K every Sunday. I'm Morgan, and I'm joined in studio today with Media Bliss, who's touring the United States right now in support of their new 12-inch uh, Build the World. Hi, how are you guys doing? We're doing very, very well. We're very, very excited to be in Minneapolis. Yeah, yeah. thanks so much for oh, stopping cool. in. <laughs> uh, do you guys want to talk a little bit about your band's formation? I know that... Uh, yeah, over the years, you've had some lineup changes, and like, what what brought it together to how you guys are today? Uh, well, I started the band when I was in high school, and uh, we had a lot of band members come in and out. And uh, when things kind of weren't working out for me, uh, I contacted Mr. Jeff Salisbury, who plays the drums, and uh, we discussed making a band together. From there, we got a few other ragtag Orange County punk rock kids. Uh, they didn't end up working out for some reasons or the other. We uh, then recruited Ryan Blank via MySpace, uh, <laughs> saying that he was interested in playing bass for us. And so we recruited him. We had a few other guitar players. Like, once we had the three of us together, uh, none of them worked out. Uh, Jeff and Eddie have been friends for a really long time and been jamming together for years and years and years. And uh, Jeff and Ryan both suggested Eddie. Fortunately, I didn't like Eddie very much, so I said no. But we told him, we were like, okay, fine. Eddie will fill in for one show. They convinced me because we had a show coming up with, like, the lower-class brats. So I really wanted to play that show. <laughs> you know why I don't like you, Eddie. Or did. I like him now. And so we uh, we finally, you know, decided to give him a little try, even though I didn't like it. And then three years later, we're getting along just fine, touring, having a great time together. Things seem to be pretty solid and having a good time. Nice. Um, so you guys have been on tour for a while. You want to talk a little bit about where you've gone and maybe what the craziest thing that's happened so far? <laughs> We're trying to keep it uh, somewhat radio friendly. Uh, well, we started uh, the tour on June fifteenth, and we uh, did like kind of like an impromptu uh, Orange County show. And then we headed up to Seattle, came back down to Orange County, uh, took a day off. Started heading down through the south, uh, went through Arizona, Texas, all the way to Florida, into Florida, up to the east coast, and now we're kind of on our way back right now. Like 36 or 37 days later now. So it's been it's been a very good time. Um, craziest is probably just beer fest in general. Yeah. It was uh, out, yeah. out in the middle uh, near Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Yeah. Out in the field in the middle of nowhere. Uh, with like 20 bands and free beer all day. It's reported that there were 2,500 beers. And they were all gone. And they were all drank. Yeah, very impressive. Ryan Sims from DS Mio put it all on, and yeah, it was. It's a, it wonder, was, it's a wonder we even made it through our set because we're all pretty bombed. Yeah. <laughs> it was the best reaction we've got all tour, yeah. and it was by far the worst we played by a very, very, <laughs> very large margin. Yeah, it was a fun time. Um, so now that you guys have been out and about, you want to talk a little bit about how punk rock is different across the states compared to Southern California? I, I would say, I would say, in general, it's the same everywhere. Like, there's a lot of the same ideals and stuff, and uh, like, you know, one punk house in, you know, Wisconsin is going to be pretty similar to a punk house in Florida. But there's a lot of different, different like styles that people are into in the different areas and. I also find it interesting the different ways that uh, people like classify like certain bands, like the way they sound. Like in like in Orange County, we'd be just like a hardcore punk band, but in you know in Florida, we're like a hardcore band. In Texas, we're like a punk band, and yeah. somewhere else, we're like a yeah thrash band. Or it's just interesting the ways that people interpret like the ways different bands sound based on their their, their geographical location. Yeah. Also, uh, when we were, uh, we had a day off in New York, and we went to go see uh, Seven Seconds and H2O play a free show that, like, Vans put on, which is, like, crazy. Awesome. But uh, when we were out there, uh, Seven Seconds covered uh, Sham 69, and, like, in, like, West Coast, all you do is, like, circle pit, circle pit, circle pit, and you never stop. And everybody was, like, two-stepping during Sham 69 covers, and, like, and, like, I knew that's what they do in New York, but just seeing it, like, I was, like, trying to circle pit, and everyone's like, what are you doing? I'm like, we're circle pitting, guys. It's, like, what we do. And they're just like, no, we, like, two-step here. So it's just, like, the weird, dumb little differences, but, like, I think we can't over, like, work out or anything. Right, right. <laughs> so you guys have put out a few uh, seven inches and EPs in the past, uh, but this is your first full length, no? Yeah. Well, what's different about writing a full length album compared to 
the seven inches you guys have put out before. It, it, it took a little longer to come up with the songs, I think. Um, How hard did we get diversity? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, it, it was really hard, like, trying not to repeat ourselves too much. I mean, overall, we wanted the same kind of general sound, but uh, some songs we had to trash just because, like, oh, it sounds like a song off this record already. So that was probably maybe the hardest thing to avoid. But overall, I think um, we're the happiest with this LP, the way the quality came out and lyrically and song-wise. And I feel like we've really found a good niche on this record. Jeff, you want to add anything to that? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have uh, your friends in, in defense uh, helped bring you out here. And um, they're really big taco supporters. We actually had a huge conversation the other day on the show about it. Oh, so you guys, that was actually my question is whether, how do you feel about tacos? Big, uh, big pizza. So you guys well, are okay, well, nothing wrong with pizza. Pizza's, I mean, tacos, tacos, tacos are great. But I think the pizza's better. Pizza's a little bit higher on the food. Pizza. Gotta draw a line somewhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. We're officially calling out in defense. Yeah. We're, we've drawn the line oh, in the sand. Chance. We know, oh, yeah. we know that we're, we got beef with them. Even though they're very nice guys. I've personally watched Ben crew eat at least six slices of pizza at one time. Oh, oh is that so? Absolutely. I was there. I saw wow. That's, a, that's some juicy taco. That is some juicy dirt right there. <laughs> no, at Armageddon, there was only pizza in the back. Oh, no, that's true. Did he fold it up into a taco shape? No, he just ate it. Oh, my that God. Been kinda, that would have been almost justifiable if yeah. he did it that way. <laughs> we bet. talk to him about that one. Um, so, this last thing is, uh, where can people find your new record, or, you know, if they want to buy it? Uh, we have it on tour with us, and, uh, it's available a couple places online. You can, you can, like, download it from our band camp. Facebook. Um, yeah, if you find us on Facebook, like, it's, there'll be, like, links to it and stuff. Cool. Excellent. Well, you guys want to play a few more tracks for us, then? Yeah, let's do it. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming in. It's Media Blitz from Orange County, California, here at Clash Attitudes Real Punk Radio.
That was Media Blitz from Orange County, California, here on Clash Attitudes Real Punk Radio. Thank you guys so much for stopping in. I know it was a tight schedule, so. It was a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. You can find out more about them on the internet. Your website is uh, MediaBlitzHC.com. MediaBlitzHC.com. Yeah. There you go. Thanks again, guys. Clash Attitudes, Real Punk Radio, that was an awesome in-studio we had with Media Blitz, and now they just shred, and they put on great shows. So next time they come out to the Twin Cities, yeah, which they will, which they will um, <laughs> make they sure you, you pay attention. And also for you guys out in California, I'm sure you already know, but great sets, great fun. Um, thanks so much, guys, if you're listening, for coming in. We had a really good time with y'all. Uh, they got a new full length out called Burn the World, and you can find that on their website, MediaBlitzHC.com, or at any shows they play. Um, we only have 15 minutes left. We got a couple ticket giveaways, so pay attention for a K.